Kevin Hirsch, Eileen Haves. Grant, scene one. I told your mom to pack light so we didn't have to check our bags, but... I uh, needed options, Grant. You can appreciate that. But we do have a ball to go to tonight. And a big concert yeah. tomorrow, mm -hmm. which we cannot wait to see. Yeah. And Margot, it's been way too long. Is she going to the ball? Grant, side two. Margo, Merry Christmas. It's so good to see you. You too. We've been following you for years. Big fans. But you already knew that. Thanks, Grant. I'm very excited you two are here together. Paul, scene one. Should we walk or drive over to the hotel? It's a two-minute walk, Paul. Well, I, I just didn't want to be late for tea. Or miss out on the cranberry scones. Okay. <laughs> you caught me. We're just waiting on time. <laughs> I do. I agree. <laughs> Your dad does love Christmas. Okay, okay. Let's hurry it up. Come on, come on. Any idea on what I can get your grand for Christmas? I'm stumped. How about a pony? Okay, um, I'll need a bigger bow then. Yeah. Paul, scene two. Okay, you're acting very strange. Where are we going? The ball is that way, and we're already late. I, I know, I'm well aware of that, but first we have some very important business to attend to. We do? Okay, what are we doing here? You know the love clock. I know what it is, but why are we here? Well, we always talk about how sweet it is, or was how people left notes here to um, stand the test of time. But um, after all these years, uh, we've never left one. Did you write something? Now, I'm, um, I'm no poet, but I know I found all I need in you. And I promise to cherish you, our love, always, every step of the way. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now let's go find that gingerbread. 